guys, it's Shumi and welcome back to another video. So today we are doing a stuff pack review. I got asked to do this on my kind of like test stream that I did last weekend and I thought I would do it. It sounded really fun. So just to put it out here before we start, I don't own all of the stuff packs so I can't give you a review of like my favourite one like that the EA have ever released but this is my favourite stuff pack that I own if you will um so I'm gonna be doing a review on the romantic garden stuff um this stuff pack is great in my opinion I think it's very like well-rounded um so I will just hang on my plan is hang on let's just I probably should have done this before I started recording but that's all right um uh testing sheets on that that should be fine right so this stuff pack I love this stuff pack so much, especially the cast items. I'm going to call it cast, so if you don't like that, I'm sorry about it. Um, but I love the cast items so much. They are beautiful. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're just going to get started. I think this is probably like the hands down my favourite item. In the, my favourite item? Yeah, the, my favourite item in this pack is this hat. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. Like... I'll just flick through some of the colours whilst I'm talking, but I just love how like long it is and how full it is, because some of the long hairs that came in The Sims, they just don't do it for me, they kind of, I don't know, they look very thin and I don't know, I just like having my Sims have fuller hair, so yeah, and also it's so beautifully curled, like, she, you can't tell because she's moving at the moment, but it's got these beautiful waves in it, it's nothing over the top, it looks really natural and I'm just a very big fan. Um, this top, this top, <laughs> this stuff pack did come with a top for women, but I haven't got it on this sim at the moment because I'm just kind of doing this, I was doing like a test outfit. Um, but it's just a cute shirt that I love to pair with jeans on my sims. Yeah, it's this one. I love to pair it with jeans on my sims, but it's not going with this outfit at the moment. My second, this is probably one of my second favourite items. This skirt is gorgeous. Like, Ah, I think the colour choices are so, like, well chosen for, um, like, for what it is. Like, this colour, how beautiful is this? Like, the beautiful blue and the beautiful purple. Um, I just thought I'd put it in here now. I like seeing, I, I would personally like seeing a review when the hype has kind of gone down which I know sounds like a very silly thing to do but whenever I see um, stuff pack videos or review videos of when the pack has just come out I always feel like the person is kind of just like riding the hype a little bit um, and so they're really into it but I like kind of seeing how things work out in my game and um, just seeing generally how I kind of like it and actually will use it because sometimes when the items come out you're like oh my god this is really cool but then you end up not using it and I just don't think it's a very like rounded opinion so hopefully this is helpful if you're wondering about which stuff pack to get um I, I have a lot of my like stuff packs that I would want to try um but I haven't got them in my game at the moment if you would like to see one of these for game packs and expansion packs I would love to do that I think it would be really good if you wanted to see it um anyway back to the skirt sorry that was a bit of a tangent um i just like the colors um this one i have to say is one of my faves i just think this is a beautiful skirt i'll just kind of twizzle around um i just think it's gorgeous it's the right length it's not too long it's not too short and it can be like modern or you can make it for like your older sims i just think it's beautiful i can go on for hours about that skirt <laughs> um yeah so that's kind of all it is for the women uh there is some dresses hang on <laughs> I put it on my, yeah, formal sim. Oh, did I not? Oh, did I do it as a separate outfit? Yeah, I did. Phew! Um, this dress is a full body outfit that came with this pack and I think it is gorgeous. This colour on this sim looks amazing. I just love it and it's such like a, it is a formal dress, but it's so like, oh, I don't know. I can't describe it. I just love it. I think it's a beautiful dress and the colorways on this are gorgeous like if you have a more like out there sim you can make them wear the brighter colors but I think this also would be beautiful as like a bridesmaid's dress like at a wedding like in this pink color I just think it's gorgeous um and I could again could go on for hours about this dress I love it so much um also it came with this like I don't know how to describe it. it's not a suit but it's like shorts and a blazer type thing it comes in plain colors in case you're wondering 
Um, I quite like the fit of this. We don't have many like coloured blazers. I'm not the key I'm not as keen on the fact it comes with shorts, but some of the colorways I'm a bit like mm. um but if you've got like an outburst um it's fine like this is a really wearable outfit I love how the sleeves are like tucked up I think it's gorgeous but then they have some of the oh yeah they've got one with a white t-shirt um so that's quite a wearable one but then some of these like tie-dye blazers I think are really pretty um there's a pink one somewhere hang on <laughs> yeah there's a pink one I just think it's really pretty if you've got like a more confidence in I just uh, yeah cool <laughs> we've been through this enough now um moving on to the male sims i'm not as keen on the male sim outfits because i don't tend to dress my sims in very extravagant clothing but if you do say if you're doing a machinima or you kind of like to play with really rich sims i think this would be great um they're just i'm not or should I take you through them? I'll just do it briefly. Um, this is this very flamboyant shirt, um, which I personally haven't used, but I can imagine Sims wearing this. Like, you could have a really embarrassing dad, and he was, like, wearing this, like, ugly shirt to, like, a party, like this. <laughs> um, and then there's this jumper, which, again, I probably should use more, actually. I have nothing against it. I just don't use it. Like, some of these colorways are nice. Um, and then they have this kind of, uh, bla not blazer, that's, like, a waistcoat with um it's like panned with a shirt and a scarf which i think could work on a lot of sims and yep there's some patterned trousers which also go to, with a lot of those this hair again this is another holy grail hair of mine i think it's gorgeous i put it on literally most of my male sims as you will probably tell if you watch any of my videos i don't play with sims that much on my channel because my computer can't really cope with let's plays um but hopefully that will change at some point but for now it can't um but this hair is gorgeous i love it so much it's just oh I'll, sh I'll change the colours for you if you want to see it. Um, but I just think it's gorgeous and it looks great in all of the colours. Um, I never really play with these like dyed colours on my sims. But if you did, you can. Um, I just think it's pretty and I like it a lot. I feel like it just it suits a lot of sims. And then the kids. Don't get even me started on this. Um, sorry, this kid's hair colour is meant to be brown. Um, it's because I recorded this video and then I got interrupted loads. And it's just, I just want to refilm it. This hairstyle I absolutely love. Um, when the pack came out, people were quick to criticise the fact that it had this bow on it and that you couldn't change the colour of the bow. But I love it still um, because <laughs> I love coordinating the outfit to the bow. I just I think if you're someone who isn't very good at dressing your Sims, it's easier just to, to have this like colour and then your Sims look really coordinated, like having this. Um, I love doing it. I have it a lot it, where my children have this colour hair i just like that color hair in the sims um and i love just going into this dress which again is another favorite of mine it's such a casual dress but i think it's beautiful and just going like this and then bam you have this really cute outfit and i love it um i love this dress as well and this is the other dress which i do sometimes use for my formal occasions on little kids some of the colorways again i'm not as keen on um but I do like like the more simple ones like these two um i'm not keen on pink and black i don't know why i just don't like it um but some of the other ones are really pretty again if you wanted like a wedding i think those would be adorable yeah so that is kind of the cast stuff done um i'm now going to go into the build and buy mode stuff and then we'll do a tiny bit of gameplay but again comment if you would like to see this for any other packs because i'm just doing this one to start with because it's my favorite pack but if you would like to see in particular any like if you would like to see any particular stuff packs i would happily do that because i just like it um this uh, this is actually surprisingly fun i've never done one of these before but yeah right okay so getting into the build and buy mode stuff we will just go into build and buy mode so it's easier i to be perfectly honest i don't use all of these objects all the time but if you're someone who's really into building i said i really like these items i think they're well thought through some of them are easier to place than others so for example i think one of the best build and buy modes objects is the is these plants i think they're great i use this one a lot um they're just beautiful and they're really pretty just to have over decking so you have like the pillars here and then you can just hang them over the edge they look really gorgeous and what a lot of people don't know is because when you go into the swatches the green ones at the very end the plain green because a lot of these aren't exactly very usable they are but 
if you want to just have plain green so you can make it look more natural I think that's great these things I think are especially good just to put in a garden like this is something that people would actually have in their garden and like the this furniture they have it in the hang on let's just turn it into oh I just moved my microphone hang on um if you put it into uh the first swatch has all of this moss on it which i think is good because it makes it look more natural but you can just put it in like marble and it's really pretty also you can use these in your houses because like you know the massive marble trend at the moment people are going to have like a marble table so you can kind of merge these together and you could like you could i haven't got move objects on at the moment but you could turn this into a marble table and i think it would look really cute this i use all the time i think it's gorgeous it's really understated it's just the normal base game climbing frame um but they put like some plants on it and i think it's gorgeous just like having this option i think it's really cute just to have plants on it and i really like it um this fountain again i don't build very many big houses but i think if i did i would use this more i probably should get into building big houses but i don't really have the time this wishing well now obviously this isn't a thing you're going to put in like every single house but i think it is a good addition to the game i'll show you how it works it's quite fun if you want to carry out like a particular storyline um, I know it's not particularly natural um, if you're someone who likes playing naturalistic gameplay, um, which I do too, but um, it's quite fun if you just want to have like a little twist in it or you're feeling a bit down with your let's play and then you can just spice it up a little bit. These are adorable for weddings. If you just want to build your sim like a quick wedding venue, these are adorable. They basically got anything. You can just build your wedding colour scheme around it and it'll look coordinated. I just love them. These statues, again, they come in the... I'll zoom in a bit, sorry. <laughs> oh gosh, my microphone is falling out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry guys. I don't want you to fall out. Right. Oh my good. I might have to cover out. Hang on. Um, but yeah, these statues also come in the like mossy colours and then they come in the like crisp ones, I guess. Um, so those are good and they're just cute just to place in a garden this is really adorable you can make a water feature of it by putting like a fountain down here and then just having the fountain bit going up again this goes in with the like you can have the mossy one to make it blend in a bit better and yeah i just think they're adorable and they have these cute little lamp posts which i think are adorable if you're making a um community lot like if you want to just make like a cute community lot having these lamp posts i think oh my god too cute too cute um so if i just show you some of the uh gameplay from this so can we turn on these lights <laughs> turn on all lights yeah cool they might turn on they might not i'm not sure my game just might not like it so if we do this to start with so this wishing well you can make a wish so they have all of these options which i guess you can read and then you, it costs one simoleon but the thing is the wishing well won't always grant your sims that wish um so you can make an offering to make it more like lenient to you so if i do this one it's like low medium and high chance basically um but if we just go on here let's just test something out so you can go wish for skills right let's just go on here i'll make them wish for a child just because it's fun right um so the yellow eyes uh is displeased at zoe's attempts to take shortcuts in life in zoe's forced stupor she always struggles to progress in any skills so it can sometimes negatively affect your um sim so it won't always be positive which i think is a nice touch that they edited in so now if we go on here let's make an offering of five thousand simoleons obviously you wouldn't normally do this uh highly generous offering so it it's pleased basically and then you will go make a wish and let's go wish for a child <laughs> because yolo <laughs> fun times um nonetheless her trying for a baby is nearly guaranteed while we're hearing under the well's blessing oh so sometimes it gives you a child like an actual child sometimes it will just give you one out of the wishing well but this one for example gave him a um like kind of fertility boost i guess um yeah i don't know if children can make a wish oh they can wish for better grades that's really cool let's go on there see what it says let's see if she can get a better grade um 
I didn't realise they could do it for kids. So there's been a miraculous improvement in your recent test scores. <laughs> um, yeah, so, oh, hang on, why is she angry about that? Not what I wished for. Um, and then here, this is the fountain, which is some, makes some really cool interactions. It would make some really cool screenshots. Um, so you can add soap, hang on. It will show you. She just adds soap to it and then it goes frothy. So she can play with um, her husband in this. It's really adorable. So they've just put soap in it and then um, I know this isn't the most natural thing, but it makes some real cute screenshots. So <laughs> they're just frolicking in there. Um, can she get into? Uh, she, you can toss a coin into it as well. Um, make a wish. Um, they're all just very cute interactions. I, I like it. And also you can sit on the edge, I think. Um, which I think is cute. And I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> I don't use it that much um, in my gameplay. But it makes some... Re it's really cute. So <laughs> look at them. They just look so happy in it. Um, oh my god, we've been recording for 16 minutes. Ah, that's pretty long. And it's only a stuff pack. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to be part of the Shroomy family. And I will see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.